What's going on guys? Melissa and Dave here. And today for Vertex's tactical tips, we are talking about small things that make a big difference. Specifically, I wanna talk about small things like your hands and your feet. So there are four new pairs of gloves from Vertex and they have some common attributes. I mean, aside from the fact that, you know, they're gloves and they go on your hands, right? So the body of each glove is a poly wool 50-50 blend. We have genuine goatskin suede, which is naturally fire resistant. Uh, these gloves are all smartphone compatible. I don't know why someone would make a glove that's not smartphone compatible, but you're on the, but these are. So you're on the range, you need to pick some, take some cool pictures for the gram, you can get that covered. It's a necessity. And, now, even though these are, even though they have some common features, they are distinctly different gloves, and you'll see that as we go along the line, and you can pick them depending on what you want to do with them. So here is the Assault 2.0. It has a 37.5 on the inside, keeps your hands nice, temperature regulated. Uh, one of the things I particularly like about this one is there is a seam right here. So you can, you can cut or snip the finger off of this if you want some more fine control on that trigger. Like say you're on a sniper rifle DMR, but you still want gloves for protection, whether it's against the elements, whether it's against environmental obstacles in your environment, broken glass, things like that. Then the Course of Fire glove also has 37.5 in it. Now, uh, and, and the goat skin suede and all that, and there's an oil tack leather on here. Now, oil tack leather is a little bit different. You can see it has a different color and texture. When it gets wet, it gets stickier, all right? So that's what you want. You don't want leather to get, you don't want your gloves to start dropping everything as soon as it gets wet. And so they have, Vertex has taken some steps to mitigate that with this glove. Now, the Crisp Action Glove. I love this name because it means crisp weather, right? And the, the big standout feature for me here is this gauntlet that you have on the end and you can kind of cinch that down or not. This is especially important when you're layering because man, I hate having, uh, like if you have a jacket and the jacket rides up and then that, some cold wind goes just like right there and just goes into your soul and I hate it. And that's what the crisp action glove helps mitigate. And then we have another glove that Melissa is gonna cover. Well, last but not least, Dave, we have the Move to Contact glove. Now, this is your uh, heavy-duty glove right here. Um, you'll notice that it does have that oil tack leather. It's got the goat suede on the inside. And then my favorite part about this glove is we have the D3O protection. So this is a thin layer of D3O protection. And for those of you who aren't familiar with D3O, it is great. Um, I'm a mountain biker and we use it all the time for our elbow pads and knee pads. It absorbs shock and it helps protect, uh, it's gonna help protect your hand against anything that's high impact. Just a, just a wonderful thing to have. And um, it's nice low profile. My favorite part about the D3O is that it's really flexible. So if you need the utility of a hard knuckle glove, but you don't want to be the guy that buys hard knuckle gloves, you know what I'm talking about. That's exactly what this is for. I mean, it's science fiction brought to the range. Seriously, I mean like flexible armor that gets harder when you hit it. And it's a real thing. <laughs> So we have our hands covered. Um, well, what about our feet? Well, that is where the uh, Vertex Vapor Core socks come into play. Now we have them in 10 inches and we have them in five inches. We also have a bunch of different, or a couple different colors right here. These are made with a 37.5 and merino uh, wool uh, blend. So they're going to create that nice cozy microclimate uh, in your feet. And feet are uh, body regulators of temperature, so it's important to keep your feet comfortable. It's important to keep them dry. And you've been hiking in these a lot, and you said that these keep your feet super dry, right? Look, if you have cold, wet feet, you're not having a good day. I don't care who you are or what you're doing, all right? And so the merino wool, it pulls sweat and water away from your skin, and it goes into the sock. And in my experience, at the end of the day, uh, I'll take the sock off, and maybe I'll have some accumulated sweat and everything over the day, but my foot will be dry. Yeah, so moisture goes out, but it doesn't come in. And because it's the merino wool, like if you pick up this sock at the store and you give it a feel, you might think it feels rough or uncomfortable, and no, dude, these are awesome. These feel great. Yeah, they also have a lot of elastic right there, so they're gonna hold snug to your foot. Um, you're gonna have some happy feet with these on them. So we have our gloves, we have our socks. Guys, you don't need to sweat the small stuff because Vertex has you covered. Check out more at vertex.com.